This problem involves a group of people standing in a circle and eliminating every second person until one remains. Who will be the lucky survivor? And how can you find out without actually killing them? But before you dive into the problem, let me tell you a story. The story goes in the year 67 AD. A Jewish historian named Josephus and his 40 comrades were trapped in a cave by the Roman army. They decided to commit suicide rather than surrender. But they didn't want to kill themselves directly. So they come up with a plan. They would stand in a circle and count off by twos. Every second person would kill the person next to them. And the process would repeat until only one person was left alive. That person would then kill himself. Josephus, however, didn't want to die. He quickly figured out where to stand in the circle to be the last one alive. He then convinced the other to follow his plan. And when he was the only one left, he surrendered to the Romans and became a historian. That's how he told the story at least. So how did Josephus figure out where to stand in a circle? Well, it turned out there is a simple and elegant solution that involves binary numbers. Binary numbers are numbers that uses only two digits, 0 and 1. For example, the binary number 1011 is equivalent to decimal number 11. Binary numbers have some interesting properties that make them useful to solve Josephus' problem. One of them is that you can easily rotate them to the left or to the right by any number of places. For example, if we rotate the binary number 1011 to the left by one place, we get 0 triple 1. If we rotate it to the right by one place, we get 1101. Now here is the trick to solve Josephus problem. We need to rotate the binary number of the starting number of people to the left by one place and convert it back to decimal. That's the position of survivor in the circle. Why does that work? Well, it has to do with the way the elimination process works. Every time we eliminate a person, we effectively reduce the circle by half. For example, if we start with 11 people numbered from 1 to 11 and eliminate every second person we get. Now we have 6 people left and we eliminate second person again starting from the next one after the last one eliminated we get. Now we have 3 people left and we do the same steps. Now we have 2 person left. Now we have 1 person left which is the survivor. So, to find the survivor, we just need to rotate the binary number of the starting number of people to the left by one place and convert it back to the decimal. So, that's a Josephus problem, a deadly ancient math problem that computer scientists love. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.